Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello, my name is... Uh... Uh, hang on, I'll get it. I got... Uh... I forgot. What's my name? Chris Perillo, thank you very much, Hu Shu. In the chat room at live.perillo.com, I, I guess I need more memory. Unfortunately, everything's kind of been shoved to the side as I've been sent pictures of the uh, keyboard cat. You know, the videos and everything, play them off keyboard cat. I need more memory, if only so I can download more of those videos to uh, my computer. The question today from the PC Pit Stop community is related to memory. Nice segue, huh? It's not like I planned that or anything. Lynn writes, a local computer store said that the Vista program needs more than 128 memory to run properly. Is this true? I purchased a computer with Vista, but only 128, as all we do on the PC is email, play games at Pogo, and occasionally look up items. Are they just trying to sell me more memory, or what? I'd like y'all's professional opinion. Well, I, I can give you my professional opinion, and my professional opinion is be careful when you use the word y'all in a question because those who are not familiar with that word may not understand what that means. I do. I live six months in San Antonio, Texas, and now y'all is a part of my vocabulary. I used to say you guys. Anyway, <clears throat> talk about a, a, a memory that I probably shouldn't have brought up in relation to the, the, the question of how much memory do you really need? Well, I tell you what, Lynn, if your computer is running fine, don't change a thing, okay? Uh, I'm not exactly sure how you purchased a computer with only a potentially 128 megabytes of memory, assuming it's not 128 gigabytes at this point. Um, that 128 may be related to another uh, component in the computer, possibly your video card, uh, maybe the, the amount of uh, space you have on the hard drive, I'm not sure. Uh, Vista, however, is going to run optimally with two gigabytes of RAM. Two gigabytes of memory. Now, keep in mind, memory isn't a place where you store files and folders. That's the hard drive. That's, the, well, typically the hard drive. Not memory. That's not memory. Memory is where things happen. Uh, so if I wanted to open a file or run a program that was sitting on the hard drive, the computer, your PC, Windows most likely, is going to take that program file or whatever and then throw it into memory and that's where the magic happens. It's in memory. It's available to you. It's in memory and when you reboot your computer, the memory just flushes itself. Well, that's kind of a non-technical way of explaining a very technical process. But that way, every time you reboot your computer, you're starting fresh. Those items still exist on the hard drive, not memory, and then when you're ready to, to execute things, then they gets thrown into memory, you know, virtually speaking, not actually, so there's not some hamster sitting inside your computer throwing things into memory, although that would be kind of cute, I think. Uh, so, uh, my recommendation, if you're fine with your computer and you're running Vista and you're not having any problems uh, and whatever you got is what you got and it's working fine, don't, don't tempt fate, just don't. I just wouldn't recommend it. You don't necessarily need it. Now, at some point in the future, when things kind of feel sluggish, and this is probably, you know, going to be a few years out, potentially, uh, by that by, by that time, uh, Windows 7 will be released, which it runs a heck of a lot faster than Vista, which is kind of nice. That's going to cost you some money to upgrade, but actually, I, I tell you, f for the money, uh, Windows 7 is a better operating system than Windows Vista. Like, totally. Even for games and email and browsing. Seriously. But if you want to spend money uh, on memory, your RAM, that's also, they're kind of synonymous. Uh, computer memory, RAM. I'm sorry, I kind of, I didn't explain that uh, earlier on. Uh, you'd want to go, the magic number, two gigabytes at this point in time, which would be July 2nd, 2009, this point, today. Tomorrow, it may be two and a half. I don't know. But my recommendation for PCs is two, gigas, two gigabytes of memory, whether you're running Windows XP uh, or whether you're running uh, Windows Vista or maybe you're running uh, something earlier than that, in which case I say, oh my God, I feel bad for y'all. See, I, I said it in there, Len, you're not alone. <clears throat> you're really not alone. My email address, chris at perillo.com. If anybody has some recommendations to pass along for Lynn, feel free to leave a comment in the thread here wherever the video happens to be embedded. Of course, you're welcome to join us in our community of tech experts who are knowledgeable about many things, including memory and the South. 
least here in America. Some uh, are experts in South America, too, which is not the South in America. It's different. Geeks.perillo.com. And if you want to find me doing things uh, on the internet, you can. I've got a blog, chris.perillo.com. But then I've also got this live video feed because I'm recording this uh, Q&A live right now with a chat room, and they're probably making fun of me. I, they, they always do. Uh, usually they're just watching the back of my head, and I, I've had the, uh, the live video stream muted for a while because I've kind of been doing things uh, like uh, practicing my singing, and uh, that's not going to work. But if you'd like to join us, we're typically talking Czech right here. Let me try it. Did I say Czech? I meant to say tech. We don't really talk Czech. At least I don't. I mean, I'm sure there's some Czechs that are here or who are here. I shouldn't say that. Who? Really, people. It's who. Typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.